right, so here he is, the number one lightweight contender. And man, if that's not saying something, right? Got through the gauntlet at 155 pounds, made himself undeniable. And now tonight, TC, we find out what he has for the champion. It long has been considered the deepest weight class in the UFC. So you know to get here is very tough. You have navigated the waters. You have done everything right. When it was time to press square, you press square. When it was time to press X, you press X. You better do it again tonight if you want to become the champion. There is no room for error as you try to win a UFC championship. And no room for a one-pound allowance. He was right on the number 155 pounds championship weight. Confidence is high that he will wrest the title away here tonight. practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, always ready to engage. We'll see how he handles this challenge tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. Ready. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angle is just absurd, and a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Beautiful hands on this plate. Another punch lands. Lands a big elbow there. that right hand counter. Oh, big elbow. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. It's just a really high pace too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from landing. Big shot land from both guys.
The right hand just misses. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands back to the feet. Well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, nice right hand. He got to hurt bad here. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. Defense. Circling away towards the left now. Great job fighting behind the left. Side kick. Well done. Oh. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Front kick to the body by Lee. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Oh, man. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. He's more than one. More than one. Punches and punches. Dig and kick. Twenty seconds to go. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Waiting seconds here of this opening round. Beautiful body kick. Oh. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do All it. right, let's get to round two. And there's that jab. Heavy kick downstairs. Beautiful kick lands there. Missed on the right hand. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. He's got a huge strike right there. I'm not 
not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Inside leg kick lands there. Fighter lands a kick now, a pretty good one at that. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Work that cut. Work that cut. Oh, oh, there he is. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice technique on the sidekick. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good on hold. Right punch is good. The left also flush. That's a big strike right there. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath. Take a breath. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, another ground strike gets through. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him up and just go for the finish. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. job getting those hands up. Nice. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight. Is right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Out of range with that one. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Sidekick. What a nasty flying knee to the head. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Lee's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. You ready to fight? You ready? 
All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. of inches right there, boy. Fly. It was a good night if that landed. Checks the leg kick. Nice. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the... Oh. Trying to finish this fight! Oh. 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 One more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made the perfect. Massive left hand. Nice shot. Lee's shot is blocked. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to you. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, here one more time, the veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 31 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers.